In today's video, we're gonna talk about Philogix PPR Painter, which is a relatively new add-on for Blender that brings with it similar painting and texturing experience to what you can find in Substance Painter, which is the go-to 3D painting software in the game development industry. So, if you've already used layer-based painting software such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Substance Painter, you are probably gonna be familiar with the add-on's interface. It allows you to manage and control your materials in a similar workflow. You can customize your materials without limits by stacking, adding, removing, and rearranging different types of layers for each channel. We're gonna dive deeper into how to use it and understanding how this add-on is contributing to executing the entire pipeline of asset creation from start to finish without needing to leave Blender. Now, with your model selected, you can assign as many Philogix materials as you want as long as they are created using the add-on. In later versions, you no longer need to save your blend files before being able to use the add-on, which is cool. But please don't forget to save your file because it is important. Under the baking drop down menu, you can check or uncheck the maps you want to bake or your mash so that you will be able to use them later when working with spark materials. You can bake normals from a high resolution object to a low resolution one, an ID map based on vertex colors, you also have an ambient occlusion map, and also a curvature map which gives you all the information you need for adding edge marks details. You can select the high resolution object using the eyedropper tool and access the necessary parameters for baking normals directly in the end panel. You can choose the map size you are gonna bake, set the margin size, the quality of the bake, etc. If your object doesn't have or need edge details or concave information, you need to proceed directly for texturing. In the paint layer section of the add-on, you can either add a smart layer, which is a pre-made layer of materials that needs information from the baked maps, or a custom layer that gives you access to each of the different channels that you can edit and control its affected area using the different layers. Starting with the smart layer, it allows selecting one of the highly detailed materials that come with the add-on. Each pre-made material got its own set of parameters, and you can play around with each one of them in order to get the result you want. You can change the ambient occlusion and coverture effect intensity, and if you are happy with what you ended up with, you can save the material as an asset that will show up in the smart materials library of the add-on so that you can use it later. You have also the possibility to stack mask layers to edit the affected area. Whereas for the custom layers, you will more likely be using them when working on custom effects and details, or when using your own image textures. You can stack multiple layers including surface layers, image layers, anchor layers, ID layers, in addition to filter layers in all the different channels of the material, which implies the base color channel, metallic, roughness, emission, alpha transparency, height, and normals. The surface layer gives you access to different procedural and smart textures that you can play around with such as noise texture, brick, rust, falling dust mask, and more. The image layer gives you not only the possibility to import image textures, but also provides quick access for texture painting directly on the surface of your object in order to be able to add custom details either by using the native blender brush or imported ones such as water leakage, scratch brush, etc. Using the filter layer, you can apply useful filters such as brightness and contrast, in addition to gamma, invert, and even curve and color ramp controls. You can quickly switch between the view modes of your material using the pie preview menu, with the V key as the default short key, which you can edit in the add-on's preferences. This pie menu allows you to better preview your different channels and isolate the only channel you are working on. With all these in hand, you can texture your objects without limitation. Using this add-on, you can achieve very cool results in no time, especially with good use of smart layers. And when you are happy with your work, you can export your textures in the export section by setting the size of the resulting images, the file path, the file name format, and finally checking the channels you want to export with the ability to select the file format for each channel. And this is how you can get asset textures ready to use either for better 3D production or to export them to your game engine. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.